I'll just not waste the elixir. Float. No. Chelsea, the float has failed. Well, that coming. elixir. No, that's the next switch I don't want to press. But here will be a boss. The 13th Sage. Now for this boss. And in the corner, kneel and shoot. It will take a while, but it leaves you... It makes it next to impossible for him to hit you. He needs to be at the second one from the top, at the... Side I'm on. But it'll only give me two, three places to hit him, four. So it will take a while. Took me on shoot. You could also run through and ladder him to death, but fireballs, they hurt. As you would recall, we didn't face this boss as Bunny. He was one of the bosses beat by Chelsea before we got here. As you deal more damage to him, he opens more eyes, so... Oh, and fireballs hurt you. Save! Don't press that switch. And down. Oh! New shot. Two slightly wider apart. And open that, go in here, and get the bomb or grenade. Up an attack to fire the grenade. Now to switch, to switch spells, you press the time button. Or, well, the spell button now, which is C. And 
No fair that they can shoot through doors. Oh. You. I seem to have made a big mistake. Okay, now it works. Now well, you'll notice there's fire over there instead of spikes. Should I recall correctly, there is no special thing over here. Yep. Ah, fire. Luckily, fire doesn't hurt that much. this way. There's an item to this way. Probably easier to just go about it from the front door, but jump. I need to get used to Chelsea's float. elixir and go back to the other door. Get it here. 
For now, we go left. Float across. We can grab this now. the door. save and i will call it here i will see you next time where we will backdoor the thermal mu nuclear power plant i believe see you then